U.S. stocks at first began to pair its losses on Wednesday afternoon, but soon continued to decline. As the Fed official suggested, the central bank still needs to see more data before it begins to reduce its monthly bond purchases. Now, first, the St. Louis Fed President James Bullard said, on the, said that the Fed needs to see more data in the second half of the year before tapering. He also said the Fed should hold press conferences after every meeting so major policy decisions can be made at any juncture. Meanwhile, producer prices in the U.S., excluding food and energy, rose just 0.1 percent in July. While including those items, the index then came in at a flat reading. Meanwhile, in Europe, markets surged, high, surged higher after data showed that the eurozone expanded by 0.3 percent in the second quarter, quarter on quarter, marking an end to the region's recession. And with oil prices little change today, the euro steady against the U.S. dollar and earnings still in full effect it looked to be quite the interesting and negative session for the Dow Jones midweek. Speaking of which, taking a look now to see how the big board has performed, it is on the downside. Triple digits, 113.35 points in the red to be at 15,337.66. In a breakdown of today's major market movers, we first begin with shares of Apple, which rose nearly 2% to break above $500 for the first time since late January, just one day after investor Carl Icahn revealed he had taken a large stake in the company. Macy's, meanwhile, taking a hit on earnings, posting a profit of 72 cents a share that missed estimates by 6%. And in other earnings, Deere reported strong, report, strong figures of $2.56 a share, easily beating Wall Street expectations. And lastly, Steinway Musical Instruments soared. This on news that Paulson & Company will purchase the company for $40 a share.